So the question in this one is, write this in component form. So they don't give us a value v. Oh, they do. So they say this is vector v. So they have vector v. The only thing we know about vector v is vector v has a magnitude of 14, that's its length, and it has a direction of 55 degrees. Would everybody agree with me? Yes? OK. But they, want, they don't want vector v. They want vector v written like this. They want it in component form. So that means we need to figure out what that point is, right? Do you guys agree? We need to figure out what that point is. Well, the problem is vector component form or linear combination form does not have anything to do with the degree and the magnitude. However, there was a, vector, a form of a vector that we do write vectors in, which we call our direction and magnitude form, which is basically saying the magnitude of your vector times the cosine of your angle times your sine of your angle. Do you guys remember last class period I went over and explained this, where this came from? Does anybody not understand this saya that you want me to go over? Yeah? OK, I'm just going to do a quick little reminder anyways for everybody, but I'll do that after this. So here's another way to write your vector. If you're given the, and basically just the shorthand, if you're given the angle or you're given, and you're given the magnitude, you can write the vector just like this. So therefore, we have 14 times cosine of 55 degrees, comma, sine of 55 degrees. Now, my magnitude is just a scalar. So multiply that in. And then, just use your calculator. 14 cosine of 55 and 14 sine of 55. So Josh, what'd you get when you type that in? Exactly. <laughs>